Okay, welcome back to my vSphere project on uh, virtualization. Um, this is about the uh, the guided consolidation. Um, you install the guided consolidation on the vCenter. Um, so after you configure the, your your vCenter, you can install the vCenter guided consolidation. Um, the installation is just pretty straightforward. One of the typical thing that uh, that you will enter during the installation is that is the IP of the of the vCenter. Of course, you put the the IP of the vCenter where it's uh, what is the IP address, and then once you installed it, it will be on your vCenter guided consolidation. It's in here. Um, the reason for the guided consolidation is that um, so that you will know what will be the um, what will be the, the the result of the of the physical server. Say say for example like this one, I added the DC one using add to analysis. Either you can put the IP address here, or IP ranges, or or a file name or you select it by domains and then you just put the credentials and then you add it here then it will start the, anal uh, the collection of information and then analy uh, analyzing it so originally on the physical server it's 3.21 gigahertz and 384 million bytes so right now the, anal the, the analysis is still not done but you can see the the, the the result the CPU is just uh, you can just run it on a uh, virtual just 64 megahertz it doesn't need to be 3.21 and the memory is just 190 million bytes compared to the actual of 384 million bytes so um, guided consolidation is uh, really to measure the you know how many uh, how many uh, physical server you can convert to one physical server so that you don't have to to to, to buy uh, uh, more more uh, ESX server or physical virtualization. Say you have a uh, 50 server and you're just thinking, okay, I'll just buy five server, convert it, uh, just put it uh, a ratio of 10 is 10 is to one. So, but it, that's not the case. Uh, if you if you if you uh, do the guided consolidation, you can even just buy say that fi fifty uh, server can run in just three three uh, virtualization. So this is the case. So um, this is how you th this is how you how you run it. It's just time consuming. Of course, um, I think what what uh, VMware. Uh, I recommend is to run this one for for one week so that you know so that you that the server will really run for 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 one week and um, the guided consolidation will really analyze how long is how long is uh you know the equivalent CPU and and memory will be the equivalent in 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 virtualization. Um, usually you'd run this one if when you already have virtualization, but if you don't have uh, virtualization you can just run um, a desktop what I'm doing right now I, I have a I have two desktop um, again I I have a, my main desktop is uh, 8 CPU here and I have 8 gi 8 gigabyte of memory I'm running the virtual ESX 1 and 2 and also the uh, the, the Sun and I, I'm even running uh, the domain controller 2 here and another server and on my other desktop, I I'm running the DC one and the virtual center, and this is the virtual center I'm running. And when I analyze the DC one to go to to go supposed to supposed to go to the virtualization, and the physical one is just 3.2 gigahertz, and it's just can it can run at 64 megahertz, and also the memory from 384 to 190. So um, that's the purpose of uh, guided consolidation. So 
you can just minimize one server of course the minimum this is the this is just the minimum of course if the server is it goes into high uh, utilization of course it can change it it, it, it has uh, it has to change the, the the capacity of the utilization so you can even you can even run in you can even test a physical server in a desktop of course if you are using a desktop you are running a virtualization a test environment of course you need to use uh, the developer version which is workstation or if you really have the physical server then it's better because you will have the really the actual one but since uh, you're just consolidating you can even run it on uh, a desktop using a workstation so this this is supposed to run on uh, on a week but um, of course this is just a test for me it's just say I want to add uh, the other server say I want to add uh, DC2 I just put the server there and then add to analysis and then I put the credential I put the domain name and uh, of course the administrator and then the password you just uh, confirm it and then close and then it's, that's it it's the first one is just collecting system information and then later on it will be analyzing blah 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 and then it will it will give the IP address CPU mem memory and then what will be the, the the equivalent CPU in the virtualization and of course since it's, it, it's, it's running just a few uh, minutes or a few hours right now it's just low confidence but if it's been running for a couple of days then it will say high, co high confidence okay this will end up my uh, guided consolidation